What do beautiful Ukrainian women really want in bed? But, but never say. But <laughs> never say. Can you take a guess, guys? What might it be? Mm. Hmm, it's one word. Mm. Yes! Yes! Oh! Yes! 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 I'll have what she's having. Mm. Oh, that's too much of a clue. <laughs> Imagine, guys, we also want to have orgasm. <laughs> Sex, it's not just for boys, for women as well. <laughs> yeah. And the best way to get it is foreplay. Some ladies need it for short period, some for long period, but it's almost impossible to come without. <laughs> <laughs> to come without. Yeah, guys, the reason we thought we'd shoot this fun, loving video is because it's a serious problem, I think, around the world, but uh, I think especially in Ukraine. So, babe, to give our viewers an idea, you go to a lot of marathons, uh, ladies clubs, so you have it on pretty good authority. How big a problem is it in Ukraine? It's a big problem, you know, and in this uh, closed circles lady can openly talk about this and I see the problem is on one side, they're not, they're not happy, but at the same time they shy to talk about, about this with their partners, so they couldn't basically come to the, you know, to the solution. And so, that's why the title is, We'll Never Say, yeah. because Ukrainian women are shy to talk about this subject. And guys, this is a golden opportunity to, for you to shine as the white knight in shining armor because if you are a non-selfish lover and you totally take care of her in the bedroom, well, you're going to rock her world in every way. I mean, she might never have experienced that. Literally, right? Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of Ukrainian ladies that have never had the big O. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah. I have a couple. question to you, Jordan. Oh. You told me about some other couples you know. So, do you believe that a successful marriage can be without a successful sexual life in the family? I don't. No, I, I don't. I don't. Uh, I know marriages that have been sexless. Uh, I have friends, I can tell you, 20, 30 years. I know they haven't. 20, 30 years. And I see it's, it's not a happy marriage. So, no. What do you think, babe? I think that uh, sexual life, it's a p part, you know, it's the department of all, you know, separate department of all relationship and you need to work on them, you know, put your time, find time for sex, have an idea, put creation, you know, many things like, you know, to work on that, like on uh, any other part of your relationship, you know, to, to, to make it Absolutely. successful. So I've got a question for you then. What is your favorite way to spice it up, to keep um, you know, activities in the bedroom, eventful, fun, and to make it interesting for both parties. Mm. <laughs> okay. I told you it would be good, guys. <laughs> okay, no, I like some surprises and some experiments and <laughs> something not predictable. <laughs> ah, some spontaneous. spontaneous things uh, that will happen. Yeah. I don't like to have this in mind schedule about, you know. <laughs> how about, how about... Oh, yeah. No pain, no gain. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of pain helps to spice up the pleasure. Are are most ladies like the, like you, or? <laughs> or I think do many. Think? I don't I think know. Many, yeah. yeah. I think many, so and many even even pain. shy to to say uh -huh. to be, be honest. Maybe. You know, be honest with themselves that they like it. You know, that's why uh -huh. they would never even tell you. You know, but you just try and then right. discuss, grab her hair. You know, while you do this, and maybe you know, if she will be very angry, then maybe it's not her turn on action. But <laughs> but maybe it's something new that you discover about. You know, so this other. kind of leads into I agree, babe. Leads into something that I want to talk about also not necessarily only applies to age gap, but uh, also on the live stream we did, guys asked us, hey, um, do I need the blue pill or whatever, the silver pill or whatever? And you replied, babe? <laughs> we don't need. So, we don't and we have a 20 year age gap and it's important. So some things you guys can do to make sure you don't need that little pill, right? Is keep sex really enjoyable for both parties. You know, right? Be creative. Yeah, be Do creative. some and games. Games is good. Yeah. I want to talk about toys because, you know, guys, we, a lot of guys, we think, what? You want to, you need a toy so that I'm not, 
I'm not really being the man. I'm not taking care of you in the bedroom. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> so we take it as a, um, you know. Personal offense. Yeah, right? offense like to our ego, of course. But listen, it's not the case at all, guys. I mean, uh, toys are used by young and old, and there's just a tool to spice it up in the bedroom. It's just in the interest of uh, having your woman be, you know, happy and satisfied, you know. So why don't you use many different approach, you know? This the other thing I'd like to point out, yeah, exactly, is, guys, women, right, ladies, like um, Shakespeare said, making love begins with holding hands. Right? Mm -hmm. Women are very romantic creatures, right? As Anna said at the beginning, they need that foreplay to build up to the big O, right? They're not like, I mean, like John Gray, author of um, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, he said, Men are like microwaves, women like crockpots. So that's why they need a slow percolation to get to that big O, right? So what am I getting at? Romance. Start with some romance, right? Flowers, dinner, maybe cook for her or something. Something, be romantic, right? It, it really helps the lady, you know, and it really keeps the spice for the lady on the lady's side, mm -hmm. okay? What other tips? We yeah. use different places. <laughs> oh yeah, planes, <laughs> trains, automobiles. Wear different costumes. Be Kitchen. a policeman. <laughs> oh, <Hallway. I> <laughs> yeah. She can be a nurse. <laughs> but costumes yeah. are great. Yeah, role playing is great. That spices it up. <laughs> we haven't tried that one yet, man. <laughs> okay. No, no you good. don't remember. I was a student, but you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, but it was not good. Good plan. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, use your creation to make it interesting for, you know, both of you guys and make it enjoyable, you know. So that's a bit of an insight, guys, as to Ukrainian ladies, something maybe you didn't exactly know or maybe you heard but you weren't really sure about it. Now Anna has confirmed for you. So again, that's a way to make you shine and be the white knight, yeah, in shining armor. Yeah. So and make your relationship more working in, you know, additional level here, yeah, right? Absolutely. More successful. Yeah, punch it up, a notch, two, three, four. So, guys, we're gonna also do a video series, we decide, called Street Pickup Series. And we're gonna talk about why it's so important for you to just come to Ukraine. Forget about the whole online thing, right? It's a ruse. Come to Ukraine, and we find the street pickup guys, these artists that charge, you know, can be 500 bucks a day and more. You know, it's more Western approach. Maybe they're great at street pickup in the West, but Ukrainian women march to the beat of a much different drum. So what works there is just totally left field here. So we're gonna do a whole series on it. Stay tuned. We want you guys to come to Ukraine mm -hmm. and meet your beautiful Ukrainian wife, hopefully. We'll see you next time, guys. See you, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right here on our YouTube channel every month, we're giving away our coveted $10,000 Lifetime Match Guarantee Partnership. Unlimited dating amongst our 1,200 plus beautiful Ukrainian ladies and unlimited coaching until you walk down the aisle with your beautiful Ukrainian wife. And it's super simple to win. All you need to do to enter is to comment on this video, subscribe to the channel, and then share over on Facebook, and boom, you're entered to win. Come on back on the last Saturday of every month. My beautiful wife, Anna, is gonna draw the winner the last Saturday of every month.